Hello everyone, Euphonius Fanaticus here. If you've watched my recent update video, you will know that I was in the process of upgrading my desktop audio setup. To do that, I had to replace my Quartz Mojo with a dedicated DAC and a dedicated amp. Well, here's the amp. This is the Monolith THX AAA887 Balance Headphone Amplifier. And this is just going to be a short video of me unboxing the amp, checking out the inputs and outputs, as well as the accessories. This amplifier uses THX AAA or Acromatic Audio Amplifier technology, which is, quote unquote, world's most linear amplifier technology for headphones and in vehicle audio systems, with supposed benefits being hi fi audio with low levels of noise, distortion, and power consumption. There's a whole page of description regarding the technology on THX's website. And to be honest, I don't really understand what they all mean, but I saw some measurements and thought this amplifier performs really well and has all the inputs and outputs I need. So I went ahead and purchased it from Amazon with free shipping. If you're interested, you can also look at the measurements provided by Monoprice themselves. But since these are manufacturer published data, we should take it with a grain of salt. But nevertheless, the numbers do look nice. It costs around 280 US dollars, which is honestly not too expensive for a good dedicated amp. I could get something like this for a cheaper price if I went with a Chinese brand, but I sort of didn't want to do that. But guess what? This one is made in China anyway. Oops. Now, if you have browsed the amplifier section of drop.com, you will notice there's something that looks a lot like what I'm going to unbox. It's called the Drop THX AAA789 Linear Amplifier which is another product that uses THX's technology. Curiously, that one is actually $20 more expensive, even though it uses a slightly downgraded technology over the 887. So if I were you, and you're in the market for a new amplifier, maybe try to see if the 887 is available to you instead. Again, I even got mine with free shipping, so that's pretty dope. There's really not much going on with the box, so let's just open it. Inside the box, we immediately find a black card from Monoprice which thanks me for buying the product. Well, how nice of them. We can also find the amplifier inside a great cloth bag, but let's ignore it for now and check out the accessories first. Well, actually those aren't exactly accessories, but rather power supply stuff. Inside it, we have a UK style cable and a power supply with DC output. I don't live in the UK, so I'm just going to swap the cable for one that fits the socket here in Hong Kong. Alright, let's take out the amplifier and look at the inputs and outputs. As you can see, the AA7 really is just a black box with dials and sockets. I do happen to like the subdued look and the hair-like texture. Looking at the front, we can find a power switch, a 4-pin balanced XLR output, a quarter-inch single-end port, 3.5mm single-end port, a gain dial, volume dial, and an input switch. There are three gain settings, which are basically low, medium, and high gain. The volume dial isn't labeled, but turning clockwise boosts the volume. The input switch changes where the amplifier gets audio signals from. As for the back, we can find two pairs of RCA inputs that you can switch between by using the input switch on the front, a pair of three-pin XLR ports for the left and the right channel, DC input, and a timed-off switch that you can flip to bypass. I'm actually not sure what it does. Maybe it turns off the amp automatically when unused. But at the time of writing, I've actually already had this amplifier for a little more than one month now, and I always have it set to bypass without any audio cutout, and I never bother to check what time off does. And yes, you heard me right, one month. Yup, that's how efficient I am with my uploads. To end off this video, I just want to do a quick size comparison so that if you also want to buy this, you know how big it is. Here's my Galaxy S10 Plus and here's my Nintendo Switch. The amp is basically as long and wide as the Switch. And with that, that's the end of the unboxing. Like I said, short and sweet. I'm gonna have another unboxing and review coming very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Alright, see you all next time.